Hey guys, um, I'm back. I just had to cut that out because my sister was being an absolute bitch and demanding my stand information. Nathan heard it. Go ahead, t tell the people what you heard, Nathan. I heard a little girl on her phone line being like, I need, I need a password to your internet. She's I mean, 31. I mean, She's not a little Four. girl. She's 31. Anyway. Anyway, You're older than me. Moving on. I he, he was on the phone and be like, I need your password for um for uh Netflix and everything. I don't need it tomorrow. I'm like, I need it now. So I need it like <laughs> not an hour later. <laughs> Even dog like, face just like, like, oh my god, Nathan. I I, I, I I need it like now. Can you like give it now? And then I can hear her mom on her on her phone on, on her side be like you haven't heard the password? Like, you know what's the phone? Like, it's like, wait, what? And everybody's like, yeah, okay, like, you need my phone, like, ASAP, like, right now? It's like, yeah, I need the phone right now. It's like, okay, I'll call you back. Mwah, 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 bye. Okay, that's okay, enough, bye. David, that's enough. Oh, yeah. That's enough, You're okay. Welcome. That's enough. You know, in all my years, I've never forever. set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Shh, my, Since my son's the day talking. They brought me here. I've never had a reason, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. Used to be different. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They kept... They left me frozen. How the fuck did they help both of us? They left me on ice. For 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To Wait a minute, you let me out of the fucking itself. vault? Extraordinary. You let me out. My son let me out. So it was you. You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? I think, the, I, think I think the fucking world's corrupted you, you son. Survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you? My my son is talking After like a time, fucking resident evil scientist. To find me. And now I know the answer. I still love you, son, even though you're a fucking twisted bitch. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope. I hope. You'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? <clears throat> I let them go. I made a choice. I let the synths go free. 
Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? Right, th it was the right thing to it do. It was the right thing to do, Sean. There's no moral choice to be made here. This yes, was there such is. This a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? Let's not forget our roles here, son. At the end of the day, I'm still your mother. I am acutely aware of our positions. I am also not a child. And I have a tremendous amount of responsibility for the Institute. You're right. I'm sorry, Sean. You're right. Let's just forget this ever happened. It's not quite that simple. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Fucking hell. I never get used to my son doing that. Okay. I told my son the truth. Am I happy about betraying my son? No, I'm not. But the thing is, I didn't raise him. He was taken from me as an infant, and now he's turned into this... Well, someone I don't even recognise anymore. They've corrupted my son. BRB, guys. Smooth. So Nathan, what do you think of Final Fantasy um, at seven, part three? Oh, I saw it. I meant to talk to you about that. You ready? You're gonna be angry with me. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh. Okay. Every, are you, are you, are you serious right now? Mm. Every, you want to braid the frog hair? You want to braid his hair? <laughs> yeah, I want to braid his hair. Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. I think I heard that. I just sat there like... Sell me and her kid. What do you, you say? Caps. <laughs> you want to bring this guy's hair? <laughs> the badass of a person's hair? I want to. Yeah, I want to braid his hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. That was funny, Eric. I didn't expect you to say that. That was, that was actually really funny. He thought he was cute? Yeah, he is cute. I, I just didn't expect that come out of your mouth. He was cute, okay? That's adorable. For an evil wait, villain, wait. he's adorable. Oh, well, wait till you see Dracula. It's only me. Then you're gonna have to compare which one is cuter. Uh, Virgil, Dracula, or the last boss. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. Hardly. Here, let me show you the contents of the late mayor's case. But these are real estate papers, leases and deeds for most of the businesses in Scarlet Square. Indeed they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our mayor Murphy was involved in a rather 
was here to meet with some other mysterious malefactor. So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place. Mm -hmm. I need to Yes. Best listen to my friend Fay. Yeah. I'll never talk. You two are in over your head. So I'm, t I'm turning off this right there station. I can't handle it anymore. Ugh, I can't handle that radio station about the silver shroud. Oh my god. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Ah! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Left the calling card. Unfortunately, now we have to go back to listening to this fucking awful radio. Friend of the show, Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello. It's on. Mm -hmm. We're recording in here. Oh man. Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. Mm. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Okay, we have to leave the radio so station on. Oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Time to kill. AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap and play nice. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man looks at the shadows, shielding the insect. No, 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 no. Okay, third, third person, not good. Jasmine. Chamomile. Spain. Why do I get the feeling, Nathan, that the person who's given me this quest is a little bit unhinged? Like, literally, Nathan, the guy who gave me this quest. I get the feeling he's not all well in the head. That scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still Right. But the mayor. Wow, the people in this town. We stumbled upon a most sinister plot, old friend. Ha! No, dear. The silver shroud's bringing just 
just a good neighbor. Bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. Oh, Jesus. The Shroud in action? Stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Oh, great. Now I have to go interrogate somebody to Radio give me the information the about a bitch. What in the actual fuck? So I have to listen to this gay radio station the entire time this quest is going on? Are you freaking kidding me? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Okay. Nah, I'm not gonna steal anything. Shroud costume? <laughs> hey, ain't no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCree? Make way way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? I'm looking for someone. Kendra. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on me. This entire area here feels like a fucking nightclub from the 80s. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're all about. Save your camps by a logger instead. Mm -hmm. Here's her money. Where is she? He's still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhood. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. Thank you. Nice to meet you, robot man. You know those night, dirty nightclubs, Nathan, back in the 80s, that where there would be a singer out the front and shit like that? And they'd all be drinking and wearing their suits? Mm, yeah. That's what this place is. It's so dirty. It's so disgusting, <laughs> too. I just stole some cola. Let's get the fuck out of here! <laughs> There's actually a real-life recipe for Nuka-Cola, did you know that? From this game? Oh. Mm. A real-life recipe. Apparently, it's disgusting. Mm. I hope you're buying. No, I don't need the Hey, Daisy. Hello. Oh, you're bad. Can't get enough looks. Right. I'll take a look. Sure. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I need to sell some of this shit, because knowing me, I'll get overcumbered really quick. Because I have a habit of taking shit that I do not need. Nathan knows this <laughs> very well. <laughs> Nathan, can you confirm, yes. nor did I, that I have a habit of taking shit I do not need? <laughs> yep, yeah, every confirmed. Yes, confirm. Got Here's it. Let confirm. And also confirm that she's gonna be married to me. No! <laughs> <laughs> I am not marrying you, Nathan. That is so gross. No! Confirm! No! <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, don't take anything Nathan says too seriously. Unless he, when he's actually being serious. Yeah. There, you can there tell. Is there is a moment yeah. you can tell, guys. 
It's the sound of my voice. You can really tell. Also, just to let you guys know, I actually have finished Horizon Zero Dawn, the main story. But I do want to go back and finish the DLC. Mm. Oh, Abby. The really cool thing is, Nathan, uh -huh. you can actually... The max level of your character's level is about 60. Uh, what I found out is that you can actually repeat the ending of the main story multiple times over and you keep leveling up. It's basically the game's developers wing. We know that it's going to be very difficult to, once you've done literally everything in the game, to get a level, so here you go. Hey, Abby. Yep. Uh, uh, don't need just the now stuff. PlayStation 5 gameplay, 4K, but they're going, but they're calling it the Unreal Engine number five. Well, un pretty much Unreal Engine five. So they're using the Unreal Engine to make the games more of 4K. What would that mean, though? Like, would the so pretty much, um, you know how the rare game that you that you played? Yeah, the one where yeah, she was mostly in the snow. Yeah, so think like of that. Like, off the beginning, but, of course. Yeah, so think of that, but it's gonna be more, um... More realistic, realistic so, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, just like, um, Capcom did, uh, the, they, they have their own engine called the, the Resident Evil engine. Or RE engine, short. Sure. Um, I just so, hope that it it does um, live up to the hype of everything. That's what all I yeah, hope. Yeah, so, so they they just showing the gameplay of a random game. So yeah, so what they so the Sony engine that they're using is Unreal Engine Five. <laughs> so technically, mm. they are using the Unreal Engine that they are using mm -hmm. that to make it more better. Yeah. Yeah, so sadly, to make it so we can kind of see it more better, we have to get a 4K TV in order to see it more better. So, anyway. Uh, our, I don't our, actually don't TV. mind that. Like, it's... I, yeah. Yeah, because regular TVs wouldn't work, you know, like, um... Like, if you want yeah. to play PlayStation 2 or PlayStation... PlayStation 1, for instance, if you wanted to play that, You'd have to get a really old fucking TV, or even let's yeah. try and find one. <laughs> yeah, I tried to find those box TVs, and then, but if you want to, and then, like, you know, uh... Like, my boyfriend wants me to get the yeah. Xbox, um, because, you know, he's gonna get the very... He's gonna get it day one, because he's always done that. And he doesn't want to play it alone, which I understand, it's just... I don't know. I'm just very wary about it. Like, if he wants to buy it for me, that's fine. It's just... I'm very wary that he's going to waste his money on something that Xbox... You know, guys, I'm just wary because Xbox has fucked up day one, day one releases before. Yeah, that's... because, um... Because, uh, I'll break it down for you guys to make it more easier. Make... Back in 2013, uh, yeah, at the beginning of the year, uh, we knew that the new console was gonna come out. They just haven't released what they're gonna look like. So, uh, Xbox stupidly released a, uh, a, like, a, a press conference separately from E3 that year. I think it was mm -hmm. in February. It was like in February or March, around there. And then they, sh I watched it, I watched it. And it's still up to this day. I, I sat there and I watched it from the... As I sat there, I thought it was something else. But no, they review... They they show what the Xbox One is gonna be look like. I was like, okay, cool. You know, whatever. And then I'm like, okay, wait for the game. They did not talk about the games. They, all they ever talk about is connecting into the TV. For like a full two hours. Or an hour and a half. What the whatever. fuck? Yeah. That's all they talk about was TV. How you connect it to the TV? You use the uh, the. Uh, oh yeah, uh, the the Netflix the and shit. Yeah. yeah oh the, my the, god. 
Yeah, for two hours. So, uh, and then, uh, why wouldn't they get close to E3? You know, why wouldn't they get close to E3? They, they treated it out, or read, uh, post an article saying, saying, and you can watch Angry Joe, but Angry Joe still has that video, and I recommend you watch that every week, every year. Um, Angry Joe read it, reading it to us, saying that, um, it's, it has to be online trying for a seven. Yeah, wait, wait, and what he means Is this by actually that, an this article it, that they put out? Yeah, yeah, that, it, that was, that was their, literally their article, and Angry Joe was literally reading it. Hey. What, what, you know, what they, what they said. The Angry Joe literally was reading it to us. And while all that was going, I'm sitting here like, wait, what? So they're sitting here telling us that it has to be online 24 seven. Why literally seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It has to be online. So you have to connect it to your internet at all costs. Nobody has that game. great internet. What the yeah, fuck were they at, thinking? It, yeah, and look at you, every, like, you know how you, how you have to, like, uh, they have to get that, your connection. You know how you have to, like, be off and you have to, your internet has to be up by, Yeah, I'm on a fucking know, satellite. Sometimes it just goes off randomly. Now, yeah, now think about it. Now, I want you to think about it real quick. They, they said that if your, mm. if your internet is not online, or if you're connected, if you're not connected to the online during that day, and they have to, ch they will automatically, automatically turn off your console. They will automatically turn off your console. That's what Xbox said. That's what the head of Xbox was saying. So, Abby, so let's say your power went out, or let's say you can't go back online until the end of the month, right? And you're like mm -hmm. in the halfway there, you know? And you, you gotta wait like three weeks. Three weeks left. You, yeah. You buy back. You 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 um your internet got back up. Uh, your Xbox not turning on. I wonder why. Your Xbox been off for two weeks. And you spent five hundred dollars on. It. You you tried to email Microsoft and Microsoft will email you back. Why? Like, well, you haven't been active for like two weeks. So your your Xbox is dead, <laughs> even with the warranty. You know, so literally, so literally, you just wasted five hundred dollars on 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 things that you can't even play. If you you know you're using a satellite, <laughs> you get what I mean, Evie? <laughs> that is the oh my god. Yes, yes. That's why everybody jumped to PlayStation 4. Yeah, they they saw that. And get this, get this, get this, Abby. Mm-hmm. Now you see how your boyfriend is buying you games on the Xbox, right? See yeah. How he's buying you that. He, it's, Microsoft says that if you try to do that, he has to pay a five dollar fee, or I think you have to pay a five dollar fee. It was one of those. So let's say you bought him a game, right? You bought him a physical copy of it, right? Yeah. Physical copy because he didn't have no money to it, and you bought it for him as a gift for you two want to play. Your boyfriend has to pay a five dollar freaking fee just to play that game. He is under your name, Evie. It's under your name. You pay the hundred dollars. He's under your name. He has to pay a five dollar fee. Just to play that one game that you bought for him, that you two can play together. Yes, they put that there. <laughs> That's fucked. He sucks. They had the balls to sat there and say that and wrote all that down, and then, you know, I think that was that was like a like a few days after E3, they post that up, saying that stuff, and then. No, I think it was like a month before that. I think it was a few months before E3. They had the nerve to say all that, Evie. You know, you're, you have to be online 24-7. You have to connect it to the internet 24-7. And whatever game that you buy, that is your game. Or else you, you can't, pretty much you can't share it. Put it that way, Evie. You can't share a game. 
you know you bought that for your boyfriend. You can't share no game. So that was Xbox that was gonna go through on the on the Xbox one that we are using right now. Well, not right now, but you get the idea. Yeah, they were going to that route because of that, and and, and I, I I was sitting there like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you fucking serious here? So if my internet went down for like 24 hours, and I spent 500 bucks on this thing, then that means that it's gonna be dead once it's back back, back up. Well, fuck that. <laughs> Everybody yeah. went to PlayStation after that. Everybody went to PlayStation right after that. And then, guess what? Why right after E3? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm taking too fast. Uh, but why right after E3 that year, they they just they stopped doing that. They immediately said that, um, yeah, we're not gonna do all that no more. We're not gonna sit there and you know and do all that crap. We'll let you. Sh we'll let you guys share a game. We'll let you guys. Uh, uh, it's not gonna. We're not gonna check on your internet trying four seven. We're not gonna do that. You guys can do whatever you want. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because they saw what Sony did. So everything that they did on E three that year was backfired. And they still have it up. They still have it up. I mean, the E three that year, is still up. You know, the uh, Microsoft press office still up. Angry Joe review um, uh, sh video about that is still up. You can s and you can sit there and watch it. You guys can easily sit there and watch it. And that's why a lot of people, not not everybody, but a lot of people just sat there and, and jumped to PlayStation 4. Because PlayStation 4, like, look, when Sony heard about that, they took the upper hand and said all that stuff. Like, yeah, we're like, you know, okay, for PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna check you guys trying for seven. We're not gonna, ch we're not gonna turn down the internet. You know, or or let's say, oh, um, if you want to share that to your friend, go ahead, knock yourself out. You know, if you want to share that to a friend, yeah, you know, you can like return to GameStop. You know, oh, and, oh, and by the way. This is funny, Abby. This, mm -hmm. is, this is funny. You have to buy a brand new game. You can't buy it used. It has with to Xbox. be a brand new. Yes, with Xbox. You have to buy it brand new. Abby, over there where you're at is $100 and more. So You've got to be fucking to, kidding me. Yeah, you have to buy it brand new. So think about all those games. All those games, you have to buy it brand new. You can't buy it used. <laughs> you can't buy it used. <laughs> that is stupid. So that is you... absolutely fucking ridiculous. Right? <laughs> so I'm sitting here like, I am not. What if Nobody that game is going crap? to pay for that. Nobody is going Nobody... to pay for it. Nobody's not going to pay for it. Nobody's not going to pay 100 bucks for that one game that might be trash. And you know, oh, oh, and by the way, by the way, once you buy that, you can't return it. <laughs> you stuck with that game. You even really if it's crap. Stuck with that. Even if it's crap, you, you're stuck with that game. You can't return it. it oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so Abby, I'm glad that you're doing this with the new Xbox because we don't know if they're gonna try to pull that stunt again. <laughs> We don't know they're gonna try to pull that stunt. Yeah, they literally they were and Ebby, they were really serious about that. They weren't even, I weren't even lying. They were really serious about that. Every every YouTuber was talking about that for months. For months. Everybody was talking well, about Well guys, that. I'm glad that I got the PS4 when I did. Of yeah, course it was yeah. because of a certain somebody that I don't speak to anymore. But, for good goddamn reason. Yeah. But, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Yeah. Whoever, whoever idea was that was stupid. Oh, so, Evie, I am happy you bought the PS4 first. 
me. We they were really serious about that. That before they like being the console didn't come out to November, so you know. If people didn't say anything, they would literally be sat there and be like, Oh yeah, we're just gonna take all your money. And they still lost a lot of money. That crap. Well, they better have, because they just fucking rorted so many people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, they were all on a roll, and then next thing you know, they got super cocky. They got super cocky, and they sat there like, Oh, we got enough money to get everybody bought Xbox 360. You know, everybody bought that. It got super cocky. Good job. And then uh -oh. they come out with, uh -oh. "Oh, we want to fuck your days up." So if you have a really shitty internet, yeah. yeah. Uh, congratulations. You Get what you what you're going to be paying for. Yeah. Nothing good. Yeah, because and think about. Uh, the the original Xbox, uh, uh, the 2013 version, mm -hmm. was $500. It was $500. More in Australia, depending how how, how yep. it is. But yeah, it was $500. You know, by itself. I mean, and with the, um, with the camera, you didn't have to buy that separate. It comes with it. It's literally come with it. And then... Xbox, I think, like, you know, like, a year, like, a year later or something like that, it finally got discontinued. Remember when you want to use that camera for your Xbox One S, Abby? Yeah, they, they continue with that. So, uh, I'd rather you not waste money trying to buy that camera and you have to set it up in a certain way. No, that, that, that won't work. <laughs> we, I'd rather not you spend that much money trying to set that up. No. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 So they discontinued it because everyone hated it. And it took them this long to do that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't mind that. I seriously didn't mind that. But at the same time, it's like, we were forcing it. You get it. That's stupid. <laughs> you need to quit. Okay. Yeah, I can quit. Oh. Uh, so that's a little history lesson. And that was seven, literally seven years ago. That was seven years ago. To this day. Yeah, around this time. They, yeah, you know. Yep. Man. I'm, maybe I, I was just happy that you didn't buy the Xbox. You, oh, you, probably, you, you probably would have break the Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, probably, probably would have. Were broken. Yeah, you probably well, would have broken. Well, guys, I'm going to make sure that I was recording through all of that. Excuse me. Oh, yeah.